Hey all, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I want to show you how you can allow your Twitch chat to control your RGB lights. So this will be a pretty quick video because the steps actually necessary to do this are pretty few. So if you've normally seen my videos, you would know that I usually use my Fox avatar to do this. But in this video, I can't use it. And the reason why I can't use my avatar is because as you can see on the right side of my screen here, I've mounted my camera to give an overview of my living room. So as you can see, my living room right now is pretty dark, but we're going to change that. So before I show you how to set up so your Twitch chat can redeem points to control your lights, I want to give you a short demonstration of what I'm talking about. So as I mentioned, I've set up a webcam here. So it is uh, filming my, my dark living room right now. And on my left side of the screen, you can see that I've opened up my Twitch chat here. And if I open up channel points, you can see that I've already created a channel point called change my room colors. So let's redeem this and see what happens. So as you can see, each time I redeem this channel point here, the colors in my living room changes with a random color. So I can do this as many times as I want to. So it is pretty easy how to set this up if you know the steps necessary. So in this video, we are going to do this together step by step. Okay, so I'm just going to make this smaller here because we're going to use the left side of the screen much more here. So the first thing we need to do here is obviously to create a channel point redeem. So let's open up Twitch. And if you go to your avatar here, then go to your creator dashboard, head over to viewer rewards, and then channel points, then click on manage rewards and challenges. You will actually see a list of all your custom rewards here. So as you can see, I haven't any custom rewards here. So we're going to do this together. So I'm going to click on create a custom reward. Then we're going to name this reward. So let's put RGB lights. Nice. Description doesn't matter. Put in an amount of cost. So I'm just going to put in 10 here. You do not want to require the viewer to enter text because what we're going to do is have a random color. So let me actually explicitly write that random RGB light, RGB color. Okay. Skip reward request queue. Yes. You probably want a cooldown or some kind of a limit on this. Otherwise you can spam it, but that's up to you. In this case, we don't actually need it. So I think this is the only things we need to do here. So let's press create. So as you can see here, we've just created our channel point reward here and it looks good. So once we've created our channel point reward here, we actually need some kind of a system where we can actually trigger our lights to change to a random color. So this depends on what kind of smart lamps you have and what kind of a trigger system service you want to use. So in my case, I use Philips Hue smart lights and maybe you have these as well. But I know there are other brands of smart lights and it doesn't really matter as long as there is an API to do it. So in this video, we are going to be using Philips Hue smart lights. So the second thing we need to think about is the external service that will actually communicate with our smart lights. So there are two systems here. It's Sapir. You've probably heard about it. Sapir here. Or you can use if this and that. And in this video, we're going to use this system here. So I'm going to log into my account here and we are going to do our applet here together and you will see how this actually works. So let me just expand here. So the first thing we need to do here is to create a new applet. So I'm going to press on create and then we need a trigger. So in our case, we're going to use webhooks. So I'm going to search on webhooks here and I'm going to pick receive a web request. So when you do a webhook in uh, if this then that, you need an event name and let's just pick a name here. So let's call it RGB. Let's keep it simple here, but you probably want a more sophisticated name depending on what you want to do. Let's create a trigger. And on that, we are actually going to connect to our Hue system. So let's search on Hue. And I've already registered my Hue to if this then that account. So all these shows up here because it's already connected. So what we're going to do here is to change to a random color. Okay. And as you can see, I've already connected my Philips Hue account to Isis Venvat. And then it's asking us what lights do we want to use? 
and then I'm going to take my T room and then I'm going to create the action. Then I'm going to continue and then I'm going to save. Okay, so we've created our applet now and we can actually test this immediately, but it's a bit tricky how to do that. So what I'm going to do here is go back, then go over to my services and then I'm going to find webhooks and then I'm going to find documentation. So this will actually show you how to send a request to if this then that with a webhook request with the data we need. So as you can see here, it says to trigger an event with an arbitrary JSON payload, make a post or get to this URL. So here we can enter in our event. And if you remember, we picked RGB, RGB, and then we can just copy this and then open this up in a browser window. So as you can see, the light changes every time I trigger this URL, and this is good. So we've completed the setup here, so we can send a webhook request to if this then that, and that will talk to our Philips Hue light system and tell the light system, hey, pick a random color, and as you can see, it actually works here. Okay, so the third and final step to this is to actually connect your Twitch channel points so it will trigger this URL. So that step is pretty easy as well. So if you head over to my webpage, I have actually written a software that can actually control various things using a channel points. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, so simply click on the link in the description of this video and you will come to this page here. And there is another video here you can watch where I go through this tool step by step. But in this video, we are just going to take a shortcut here and we are going to download the controller application here. So simply click on this button here and you will download the zip archive of the controller. So I've already done this, as you can see on my desktop here, I already have downloaded the zip file here and I've already extracted it. So I can double click here and we can actually uh, start this application together. So it says here, right click and run as admin. So this is the first time we are booting up this program. So it is asking us for our Twitch channel name. So I'm going to put in special agent squeaky. Yes. Nice. Please redeem a Twitch channel point reward in order for it to show up in the controller. Okay. So let's head over to our chat here again. And then we are going to redeem this once our reward. And as you can see, this box just appeared. So what we are going to do here is to click on this. So basically what this tool here is, you can write your own scripts and that script can do various things. So it says, do you want to load in an example script? And in this case, we're not going to do it. So we're going to press cancel here because I already know what we are going to do. So I'm going to delete everything in this script here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to, I can put this on the left side here, is to enable this script. And then we're going to actually write a command here that will trigger our if this then that webhook. So the command is actually called webhook underscore get. And then we need the URL that we use to trigger our lights. So if I open up this again, let's copy this URL and put it down here. And then I'm going to save. So we have now created a script that will do a webhook get towards the if this then that web service. And that service is going to talk with our Philips Hue and ask Philips Hue, hey, can you put a random color on my lights? So it's actually pretty straightforward here. So it's only three steps. Next thing we need to do here is just to basically test everything. So I'm going over to my chat here again, and then I'm going to redeem this reward. And let's see what happens. As you can see, when someone redeems this channel point reward, the controller captures the reward redeem here, does a HTTP request to if this then that, and then the lights randomly changes to a color here. So that's it. This is probably the quickest video I've done recently. So as usual, if you like the videos I'm doing here on my gaming channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and comment because it actually helps a lot. And I wish you a continued great day. Just watch me